Hello friends, welcome to our channel InstrumentionTools.com. Today in the series of real life PLC and HMI application, we are going to see automatic carpet washing machine. So here you can see this is the complete overview of the machine and you can see how efficiently the space is used over here to create the electric panel. It is within the machine frame only. Let us see the complete machinery operation. So this is how the complete machinery is working automatically towards the carpets. You also know washing clothes itself is difficult, especially when it is hard clothes like jeans. So manually washing these heavy carpets is very laborious job. But here in the machine you can see it is very easily washing it without any hard work. So these are the brush brushes which are moving from one side to other so that any dust or stains on the carpet can be removed. And there is also one scrubber, screw scrubber which is continuously on so that minor dust or high dust particle can be removed from the carpet and this is the final area behind this the carpet is washed through detergent and here in this part this wiper removes excess of detergent from the carpet you can see from here a fresh water is spraying over it and it is removing the dirty or detergent water from the carpet and automatically it is moving from one end to another like forward reverse and like that here you can see for the first time the operator has to roll this but after that you can see these rollers are moving so automatically it rolls our carpet let us observe again initially you can see these sprayers are off but as we start to roll this carpet, the sensor senses and you can see this sprayer has started to finally wash these rolls also. So this is how the completely automatic it is. And let us see how this machine works automatically. So there are some things which are on by default when we turn on the machine. And then things are like main conveyor which is moving the carpet okay after that screw scrubber that we already seen that screw scrubber is already on okay so you can see this is the screw type scrubber which is moving hard particles from the carpet after that water jets detergent water jet and fresh water jets that are always on and the brush motor again you can see this brush motor is always on it never stops just its forward and reversed is based on sensor other thing that rotating this scrubber rotating this brush motor is always on after that there are two moving parts which are moving from one end to another so that movement is due to sensors only because it is moving from one end to other so we require flexible cable tray like this because our wire also moves from one end to another with motor that's why such kind of cable trays are used now here we will see you can see it is moving from one end to another end and there is sensor when the sensor detects this it is moving in reverse direction so here you can see now it is moving towards this end and here also there is one sensor you can see over here so when it senses it it will move back to that direction so this is the simple logic after this here also there are sensors you can see this is photoelectric sensor when this wiper comes to this end 
so its rays are reflected from this blue plate to back and at that time it reverses its direction and such arrangement is also available on the next end that is over here also so let me show you so you can see it reflected so it is static moving in this direction right now the carpet has not reached to here so this water spray is also off now observe carefully so here also you can see there is one blue plate so this time when the slider will come to here that is this wiper will come to here you can see there is also sensor over here also at this end only when this photoelectric sensor reflected back the wiper changed its direction now we will see the control panel of it so here you can see there are the main mcbs and some vfds because there are main conveyor screws cover motors for this besides that there is also Vicon PLC and Vicon extension modules. So these are for inputs, outputs, and this turn on the contactors, and each contactor have their own MPCBs. So this is the complete panel. As I told you earlier also, how smartly they have used the space to create the panel within the machine only. Generally, there is the separate panel box besides the machine. So this was the complete automatic carpet washing machine. I hope you have get at least some new ideas from this video. If you want to learn or see more examples like this, show your interest by liking and subscribing our YouTube channel. Meet you in the next video with another interesting example.